how to kiss according to science. I know what you're saying. Wow. You look like an expert. Well, who wouldn't be in a Hawaiian shirt, right? <laughs> well, like I said, this is science. Researchers at the University of Bath in the United Kingdom examined 48 married couples hoping to learn more about the kissing tendencies of lovers. Hi there, I'm the Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen, and this is the latest from Study Finds. Please be sure to like and subscribe to get all of our latest updates. Now, I know what you're saying, Study Finds guy, Jeff Allen. Teach me how to kiss. Well, teaching is my jam. Science is my bag. So here we go. Well, the first problem here is they studied married couples, but we'll look past that. Let's get to the science, and we'll have some other tips at the end. Nothing creepy, I promise. Scientists say Bangladeshis in particular were a good case study for examining the most natural way to kiss in that they are barred from viewing, kissing on TV or film, and thus aren't influenced by societal factors. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, so you're telling me none of these folks watch this? It's like literally not available? Okay. Overall, two-thirds of Bangladeshi couples, whether they initiated or received the kiss, were found to have turned their heads to the right while kissing. Men who were 15 times more likely to initiate the kiss as their partner usually saw their wife mirror the tilt of their head when they smooched. So, are you a right or left kisser? If left, you're doing it wrong. So, <laughs> you're right when you're right, to coin a phrase. Okay, that might be overstating it a bit based on their findings. The researchers believe that one's head tilt, well, kissing is in part determined by their predominant hand, explaining why a tilt to the right is most common. And Lord knows, I do not want to discriminate against the lefties out there, and they're people too. But science says so. Humans are hardwired to lean right when smooching. Can't help science, folks. And you don't want to make him or her uncomfortable. So take my advice. Kiss right. And who wants a concussion from kissing gone horribly wrong? <laughs> you know, you smack heads, you fall over, and you wake up an hour later. and All you have is a headache and a note that says, don't call me. <laughs> okay, here's a couple other things according to the reports that study finds. Unless you know your partner really well, hold your tongue. Keep that slimy thing in your mouth as French kissing may help spread gonorrhea. Who knew? And then here's the common sense part from yours truly. If she blows chunks after you kiss her, check your breath, uh, not to mention your shirt. I mean, <laughs> could be missed. Unless, of course, your nickname is Chunks. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Shame on me. If her face turns blue, you're probably not kissing him or her so much as suffocating them uh, be aware read the room although good news is it's a pretty short step from that to cpr and finally be sure to peek you can usually tell if her eyes are wide open and shaking a bit she's probably nervous uncomfortable or on meth i watch cops i know but if you got this look when you're kissing her that's probably not a good sign i'm told you can practice on an orange anyway <laughs> a friend told me that Science and the study finds guy have spoken. You're welcome. Thank me by following us on YouTube. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head on over to studyfinds.com.